Oh, wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Today, myself, Thomas Wilson and Andrew O'Connor have come up from Sydney to breathe life into the Hope Organ. Good day. You're the builder. Builder? Yes. And Years great. ago, I built a chamber organ, of all things. I didn't have a clue how to, how to build an organ. But I, I figured that um, if I wanted to, I could do it. And got the help of, a, I think, a splendid fellow by the name of George Stevens, who is an organ builder in Adelaide. So he built this to specifications that I cobbled out of sheer ignorance. I think today what we really want to do is to showcase the capacity of this organ and also to bring joy. For someone who has devoted so much of their thought process around creating an instrument, to have that come to life in front of them, that's a fairly special thing. I vaguely remember having heard about the, the Hope chamber organ. I'd seen articles about this organ, I'd read the specification which is the list of all the different stop names, um, but I had no idea what it would really be like. And I have to say it's exceeded my expectations in almost every respect. conceived it on a couple of bases. One was the tonal distribution of the pipes I wanted, and the second one was, in layout terms, access. The people should be able to wander through the ranks, and so you can climb up the steps, find yourself a spot, while it's playing, have a look inside, and you see all these pipes beavering away, churning out music. It's a lovely experience. has created an instrument that resonates in this space that is bespoke for it, but also when you're up here, it's almost like the way the sound moves throughout the space when you're in the centre of it, it's like the colours that happen in great orchestration. So you have this unique opportunity to stand there and hear, you know, like your flutes come alive and then to hear something more strident and, and brassy that pans around you and that's what makes it unique and extraordinary. The trouble is, when it was all built, I found very, very quickly that the music I wanted to play was the same. Bloody hard. I, I, I just couldn't get my own neurological circuitry around it. Sorry. Andrew is about to sing the final bass aria from Matthew's Passion by Bach. I think it was very important for David to hear the organ work and for it to be played by someone of the calibre of Thomas is amazing and also to hear some singing with it. It was something that he sort of specifically said he'd like, I'd like to hear it make music with someone else. The part of this project that I've ended up enjoying the most and, and think is most important is actually to let Mr Hope hear his organ. 
to let him hear the instrument born in his brain that was realised with the assistance of an organ builder. And hopefully I'm able to just remind him of the, the potential of this incredible instrument that is only in this world because he wanted it to be so. This beautiful home and the land parcel around it has been sold. So this organ needs a new home. I would hope someone in Australia would love to cherish and use this unique Australian organ so that for future generations they would have the opportunity to experience what it stands for, which is to take a risk, be innovative and bring beauty into the world. I couldn't have imagined anything as splendid as this. I think you're remarkable people. Remarkable, and I'm so grateful to have met you. Lovely, lovely, lovely.